another dog. Maybe we can do a level two dog. That could be decent. Got a skunk. Just some buying and selling, maybe. I'll give it a try. I do like a good buying and selling build. And then removing the bluebird, I think, actually improves the team because then we just put this guy up here and not worry about that. And then we get a fish. We can sell the pig and get the skunk and then get the fish. Yeah. Uh, and then we want the bison because we've got the caterpillar. So that will eventually pay off. Yeah, that's not bad. I think we do pretty well against this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, whoops. That's the wrong screen. We've got another caterpillar. I like the idea of just having a load of caterpillars and a load of bison. Or just one bison and a load of caterpillars. That seems decent. So I believe we sell the ants, get the bison in, sell the skunk, get another caterpillar, and we'll garlic. Garlic the bison, and probably garlic the fish too. I think this is what we go with for our scaling. Like we just get the bison huge, and then the caterpillars will follow suit. But it will take a while to get the caterpillars online. Maybe too long. That guy just roasted us. Also, you've got a rooster and a hatching chick behind you. How does that work? Another caterpillar. I think we do lean on this. Then we just need more stats. We don't need the stats on the caterpillars. <laughs> the caterpillar isn't supposed to work as your biggest unit. <laughs> yeah, this guy's just bigger. He is just bigger. Although we do tie this because S1 had pretty low health. Not exactly a uh, winning strategy. Wow, we've got a fourth one. Jesus. We're really going to do four caterpillars and a bison? Is that actually strong enough to win? I don't know. I mean, we can sell the fish, put the caterpillar in, bison will start to level up. I feel like this shouldn't work. I don't think the goat is what we need. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm actually going to combine the caterpillars and then I'm going to melon armor the bison. Because I feel like he needs to live a bit longer. And then I'm also going to Hatching Chicken. See, this is a really big brain move because then the, the Caterpillars will all get the bonus. Yes. Okay. That should keep us alive, I think. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. At least the uh, butterfly didn't get sniped right away. Okay, we tie that. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. We'll take the time. We just need to get the caterpillars uh, leveled up. Another bison. Well, I definitely want that. Can we get a third bison? <laughs> Please. We just need this guy to be as big as possible. 
literally too big to fail. I'll take a hatching chick as well. We do still have four health, so we're not immediately out if this fails, but I feel like if we just hang on a little bit longer, then we'll get the, we'll get the proper scaling. He's big enough now that he's doing something with the melon armor. Yeah, I think, I think we've got this. Okay, that works. We got, we got an unreasonable amount of caterpillars. I'll, I'll keep this guy frozen for now because we're not going to want him unless we find another one. I think we're literally just rolling to find bison or hatching chicks. I don't think anything else makes sense. Because these guys are going to level up next turn anyways. No, it didn't quite work. Um, canned food? Is that something we want to make the hatching chick stronger? I don't think so. But I'm, I'm really just going to roll the entire turn. Uh, experience, I'll take it. I don't normally roll the whole turn, but to be honest, at this point, whether we win or lose isn't dependent on that turn. It's dependent on us finding experience for the bison experience for the hatching chick. I guess it doesn't actually matter which one. Oh no, we're gonna get... Okay, we, we didn't get killed by the cricket, that's good. I'm actually invested in this run now. But we've, we've got two wins and it's turn 11. Oh my god, we got the T-Rex as well. But... The thing is, the T-Rex isn't even particularly good with this build, because the bison, we just need the bison to get buffed. So I think what we do is we actually, we actually buff the bison. And then he'll get the plus four every turn. And then this guy will still give him the plus five temporarily, which is what we really need, I think. And then we'll put the caterpillars in front. Oh, and then we find another bison. Oh, you, you, you budgie smuggler. I think we still do it. We just want the stats. And a pair. Okay. I think we're, I think we're on the path to winning with this. Like, we're going to have four 27-27 pets. Is that going to be enough to win on turn 11? Maybe. We get rid of the weak as well, that's pretty good. Okay, we do win. So the scaling is starting to work. But Christ, we're going to have to go for another seven turns minimum to win. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we have to do that. We just need to get this bison leveled up, like, properly. The thing is, how do we even pivot out of this? I don't think there is any way we pivot out of this. I think we're just locked into this build. And then what do we even do? Like, <laughs> there's almost literally nothing for us to do. Like, I'm struggling to think of meaningful ways we can actually improve this team after, like, say, the next turn. Which is bad, because it means that people will eventually outscale us. But for now, we're at least reaping the benefits. Because this hatching chick isn't actually going to do anything for us either. We're going to have to swap that out eventually. The thing is, what else do I actually want there? 
want something that's gonna protect the team from snipes. I don't know what that is. I mean, we can stake this guy, I guess. Well, we've level 3 the bison. We're going to have a full level 3 team. Is that something we can do? Maybe we do something with the microbe. No, I don't think that works. Because it will microbe the... If, if we could microbe the caterpillars and then they turn into butterflies, that would be really good. But I don't think that's how that actually works. Well, here's a state. Oh, this is such a scuffed team. Like, it seems really strong, but there's no way it's strong enough to get all of the wins we need. And a single skunk will probably just blow us up. But other than that, I think we do pretty well. I mean, I, I guess the real answer is we just get a fifth butterfly or something. Or a turtle. That could be a good one. A fifth butterfly. As if we have time for that. I mean, the, the bison's going to scare themselves now, so we can sell the hatching chick. Are we with the chick going to get a fourth butterfly? I don't think that helps us. I think we need the turtle. I think we straight up just need the turtle. I don't think anything else even makes sense. Okay. And then I guess I'll stake him, just so he does something. And then we literally just keep rolling for turtles and chocolate bars. I think that's the only way that we actually win, is if we get a level 3 turtle. So what's happening here? Are we going to win this? I believe so. We melon tank the scorpion, that's good. Yeah, the stakes aren't strong enough to get through. That's good. I mean, the scaling is still working for us at this point, but it's going to fall off. Well, it's going to stop pretty much at this point. But we did get the level 2 turtles. We've got another two melon armors on these, uh, on these caterpillars. You can't just normally melon armor them because they'll they'll lose it when they transform. Yeah, I think our build is pretty much just set. I don't think I don't think we can actually pivot out of this at all without losing. And I don't think we even have any reason to. Because we're gonna have four 50-50s with melon armor. I got wrecked. Stupid leopard. Nobody expects a leopard. Okay, what actually needs to happen then is we need to buff the caterpillars as well. If we don't find any XP. I don't know. I, I don't think we're going to win. I don't think we can win. It's too late. We can't get four wins and win on turn 20. There's no way this team wins at turn 20. Because we're, we're starting to come into actual 50-50 teams. And those 50-50s will have items. Like, this, this is going to work right up to the end and then it's going to it's going to fall off a cliff. Okay. Well, we've got the full level 3 team. Uh, now what? I think we just, we just try and buff up the caterpillars. Probably just melon armor them. God, this is such, this is such a weird build. 
And if we bump into another guy with the leopard again, he's just gonna kill us. Oh no, the rooster, the roosters. Has the rooster got us? No, no, the bison wins. Bison doing some work. Bison is the key to all of this. We can very rarely actually get some use. Yeah, so I think now we just search for melon armors. I don't think anything else even makes sense. We just gotta stop the uh the caterpillars from getting sniped. Like that's literally the wind condition. Oh, this makes me nervous because it's a huge rooster. Oh no! We lost all the health. Oh, uh, now we're screwed. I don't know. We, we can't kill the eagle, can we? Okay, we do actually, but we get a tie. What, what is this game? What is this game? I'm going to keep buffing the turtle as well. The, tu the turtle at the moment is the weak point. But, I mean, we need him to make sure these guys actually get melons on them. Jesus, this is so weird. Yeah, there it is. The level 3 skunk. Yep. 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 Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah.